new nature does not remove the presence of sin but the practice of sin when you are born again you don't lose your ability to sin you lose your ability to enjoy it you can still sin it's the same one you're just not going to be able to enjoy your sin because the new nature doesn't sin where the sin happens is in the soul unrenewed mind and the new nature doesn't want to sin and as a Christian Christians can commit sin but they don't practice sin because the Bible says in 1st John chapter 2 verse 29 everyone who practice righteousness is born of God 1st John 3 9 it says the following in NLT those who have been born into God's family do not make a practice of sinning because God's life is in them they can't keep on sinning because they are children of God now don't let the word practice freak you out how many of you guys practice like certain uh, sport basketball swimming golf practice eating <laughs> I see no all right I see more yeah. all right okay musical instruments practice what is word practice practice simply means it's performing an activity or exercise a skill repeatedly or regularly in order to improve or maintain one's proficiency you only practice things you want to get better at true Christian will never do that will never practice sin to get better at sinning true Christian will never use God's grace as an excuse to sin because to them a little bit of grace gets me to heaven a lot of it makes me reign in life so using God's grace they don't use God's grace as an excuse they use God's grace as a reason to overcome sin true born again Christian will fall seven times into the same sin he can't stay there why because he is not practicing something into perfection he wants to practice righteousness so he will get up from that sin and still be righteous so as a born again Christian you still sin you don't lose your ability to sin you just lose your ability to practice sin into perfection what we practice is the perf perfect nature of Jesus that lives within us and we practice that day in and day out not so that we can become perfect it's because we are perfect in our spirit and in our heart through the blood of Jesus can somebody say amen Matthew chapter 7 verse 21 it uses this verse not everyone who says to me Lord Lord shall enter the kingdom of heaven but he who does the will of my father in heaven I will be very honest with you when I was younger and this verse was preached in the church I was getting saved every time this verse was preached because the preachers usually preachers are really good at taking scriptures out of the context and so they would take this verse and right after that they would give a call to salvation if you call on the name of the Lord but you don't do the will of the father I'm like this week there was one day I didn't do the will of the Father and then it says over there you will not go into kingdom of heaven I was like man that's me I didn't even wait for all the cause like Lord Jesus please forgive me I didn't believe in this but I did it just in case please forgive me sanctify me can I get saved again amen I got saved again and then they would say even if you do miracles I'm like well that, that's not I don't even qualify that's for everybody who does the miracles that's for them they're not even saved but you have to always read the Bible within the context because later on Jesus says the real reason why those people are not going to heaven it's not because they called on the name of the Lord and didn't do the will of the Father I want you to see this in verse 23 it says then I will declare to them I never knew you the real reason they never had a relationship with Jesus they might exercise certain gifts in a community of other leaders they might have even moved in miracles through the name of Jesus not through their own name they might have called on the name of the Lord they may have professed Jesus but as Christians we don't profess salvation we possess salvation they might have known about Jesus as Christians we know Jesus and he knows us the fact that Jesus tells these people that I never knew you tells me they never had a relationship with the Lord and the evidence of that is the next is the next part of that verse I never knew you depart from me you who practice lawlessness what is the sign that they were never born again 
they practiced not righteousness lawlessness they practiced to perfection sin lying stealing but the root wasn't the fact that they sinned that's not the problem the problem is they never knew him and because they never had a relationship they couldn't help but practice sin because when you have a relationship when you're born of God you will fall into sin you will struggle with sin you will commit sin you just don't practice sin because you practice something else you practice righteousness because you have a new nature and so you can't use this verse against believers because if you're born again if you know Jesus Christ something will happen here there is a new nature and that new nature causes you to practice righteousness will you always get it right no but you practice that's how you learn to ride a bike that's how you learn to speak that's how you learn to walk you practiced it but you know why it was possible for you to practice and learn it because it was within your nature my dog can practice to speak English all his life he'll never speak English because it's not within his nature but it's within your nature to live right and therefore when you practice that but why do you practice that it was only because you know the Lord it's not so you can know the Lord it's because you know the Lord and you can hide behind the church and profess Lord Jesus is Lord say all of that the same way you can walk around I can walk around and say um, I belong to Larry Smith's family that doesn't make me part of that family because I said that the Bible says demons believe and tremble and they're still going to hell believing that God exists doesn't save you belonging to a circle of people that believe in God doesn't save you I've been many times in the airport and missed the airplane you can belong to a religious circle and still miss Christ if you don't see Christ and don't submit to Christ and receive his gift of salvation and submit your life to him and know him not Christians but Christ can somebody say amen and so we see that as Christians we don't practice sin we do struggle with sin in Hebrews it says this for you have not yet resisted to bloodshed striving against sin so Christians in their spirit they're sinless they can't sin in their spirit that's why the Bible says that if you're born again you can't sin and people read that's like that's not me your spirit is cannot sin your spirit cannot sin your soul oh yeah because it's unrenewed it still needs to remain in Christ there's still certain strongholds certain wounds that need to be pulled out and it's a process through which we all go in as Christians salvation of our soul that's why there's verses in the Bible that says to do things for salvation of the soul and people read that they're like so does that mean I'm not saved no you are saved your soul is being saved and so dear believers we struggle with sin sometimes the struggle is so severe the Bible says till bloodshed have you seen people struggle with drugs who are born again till bloodshed you seen people struggle with smoking sometimes if the, the struggle is real hashtag and some people even die in that struggle have you seen people struggle with depression who are born again believers yeah and so to say that just because you struggle with sin you're not born again is not against the Bible because he's writing to the Christians and says that sometimes in our soul we can struggle still and that's okay that's why we have brothers and sisters that's why we have healing deliverance that's why we have the teaching of God's word so that we can overcome sin we have abundance of grace so we can reign in life grace doesn't give us the excuse to live in sin a born-again Christian will not look to grace to live in sin they will look for a reason to overcome their sin 